Hello dear Bitcoin enthusiasts, welcome back to Bitcoin Guru. If this is your first time here at Bitcoin Guru, welcome. This is a channel solely dedicated to exploring the world's first private and untraceable cryptocurrency. And this is exactly what we're going to uh, do today. And if this is not your first time being here and you're a regular Bitcoin Guru enthusiast and a Bitcoin enthusiast, you know it's been a very long time since uh, there has been an update. And there is a reason, and I'm sure you know what the reason is. But I can talk about this topic forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to keep it very short. I'm going to go over the news. And then I'm going to give you my two cents on the whole situation with Bitcoin, okay? So without further ado, let's head over to the news. Now, this was posted by a Bitcoin user. And they have brought this to our attention. So let, let's actually go back to it. Uh, okay, so thank you, RGZ underscore Gino. My friend, you are the best. It was posted two hours ago. And um, it was a response to, are the official still there? It hasn't been updated in a while. And RGZ underscore Gino replied and said this was the last thing I saw them post here's a link to the thread where they replied to someone just scroll down a bit and you'll find the same thing that I screenshotted above so we'll click on it and it's um, under Binance and critical reviews so hello Bitcoin team I have a few questions and criticisms Bitcoin has been unlisted from Binance for over a year there's still no clear explanation yet because Bitcoin was off the list, people started to think it was a problem. Therefore, market prices have dropped considerably. Binance influence on the market cannot be ruled out, of course. On the other hand, after being unlisted from Binance, significant technological developments and market agreements for Bitcoin could not be put forward. This makes Bitcoin even more suspicious. It makes people uneasy about buying. After Binance, <laughs> there is no stock market or important important project that you have partnered with. This raises considerable concerns and suspicion for Bitcoin owners and the community. A few weeks ago, you said that you would announce new changes. There's no news yet. I would like to ask you to clearly explain where Bitcoin's path is heading. I thank you from now. Have a nice day. So we scroll down and we're going to go over exactly how Bitcoin responded to this. Hello, and thank you for your concern. We understand the community needs some updates, so let us clarify some things. Currently, we are studying the market and new technology to figure out a new roadmap. We do not wish to rush it because it is important to choose the correct direction right now. With all the progress made with Bitcoin Zero, we need to improve our technology in order to be a valuable market player. The crypto industry is changing and developing fast. People want to go mobile. The market is shifting towards uh, decentralized exchanges and the industry is becoming more and more regulated. This is why we are thinking about whether we should continue to invest time in Gateway. But for now, it is still inactive. However, if you look at our recent history, it can hardly be categorized as inactive. In the past six months, we've forged 18 media partnerships and expanded our influence to five regions, including Brazilian, Vietnamese, and Spanish-speaking markets. We've published 34 philosophical news digests and countless press releases. To make a long story short, we're reworking our roadmap and the project itself, and it will take some time to figure out. We appreciate the continuous support from our community and apologize for any convenience this may cause. Bam, this was a month ago. So to to kind of give you my two cents on it and of course you heard what their reasoning is. I do want you to realize that um we are living in a time that we're surrounded with technology that upgrades quite often. 
and most of the tech giants that are leading this are cell phone developers. Self, uh, cell phone companies will come out with a new cell phone every six months. When everybody and their mom knows you do not need a new iPhone. This iPhone can last for decades should it have the proper software uh, maintenance, etc. So we're used to updates constantly and we think that things are scam and they're uh, POS just because we haven't heard anything from the development team. And this, this goes for anything. Anytime you don't hear any, any news or press releases and people start to freak out. As McAfee has said, you want to see cryptocurrencies go up in value, you need to start using it. Th th who cares if the project keeps getting updated? Why do you need the project to be updated? You have a private and untraceable cryptocurrency. What else do you want from it? What do you want to update? Just use the thing if you need to. Why do you need somebody to hold your hand and tell you, hey, by the way, we're still alive. Hey, by the way, we're still alive. Hey, by the way, we're still alive. Please, my friends, recognize what you're investing your time in. It is a project. It is a currency. Does the Federal Reserve or any other bank, central bank, give you constant updates on how the paper money is doing? No, but you keep using it. So please relax it is a-okay they're working hard it's a small team it is definitely not as big as Bitcoin's team or Tron's team or Ethereum's team and if you're a Bitcoin enthusiast you will know why and you will know why they're not coming out with new updates all the time or public appearances and all that good stuff if you're a Bitcoin enthusiast you know exactly what you're investing your time and attention into you should not have the same expectation out of a cryptocurrency project as you do out of a PlayStation or a cell phone. It is a different beast used for completely different purposes and its development should not be, it's already developed, what else do you need? It is, it already exists. It is less than a tenth of a penny. For goodness sakes, please. Use the thing if you need it. If not, observe. Do you know how many people would give their limbs to have Bitcoin, which is half of the features that Bitcoin has, if Bitcoin was that price? I'm going to give you another two cents regarding supply. The supply is flawless. I don't think people understand that the world is bigger than their neighborhood. There's 6.7 billion people. That is a 6,000 million people. What do you want? People to, to kill each other over 21 million? No. You want... Look, this project was created to help humanity... Not to have a bunch of, a, a bu when I say a bunch, that's very, um, uh, it's an understatement. We're talking about billions of people that are ultimately never going to see one full unit of that cryptocurrency. They're going to be fighting over Satoshis. We have the most flawless project there is the only one in Bitcoin gurus opinion that should be paid attention to the world's first private and untraceable cryptocurrency what else do you want what would I what would I want to see I would like to see partnerships with decentralized exchanges that is the only thing that I'm keeping my ear out on I want to I want to see that happen and it is um, it is a different beast remember Bitcoin is has its nature is private and untraceable so you have to go through a couple of different things to make it work with 
exchanges. Uh, regulation. Remember, the powers that be and the people who are in control of all of these companies that we call countries, they do not want to lose power over their paper monopoly money. Please. Regulations go first. Exchanges, centralized exchanges, obey the law. Do not blame them for that. Do not be surprised if something gets delisted. Please. If anything, that should, that should make you think. That should make you think. Um, I've gone to school for decentralized assets in blockchain technology and I can tell you if you knew half of what actually goes behind this code you would you would not be able to comprehend comparing this to a piece of paper that can be ripped into pieces at the end of the, at the end of your workday and it will be deemed unusable ever so cryptocurrencies by themselves are, are the bee's knees. I'm not even going to go into the private sector because I, I'm telling you, it blows everything out of, out of the water. So do you have patience? Are you one of those people that is invested in 401k and retirement plans? And you're ready over here to wait for 50 years to get your money back? Maybe, maybe. And you're not willing to wait 365 days to hear news about something that is completely decentralized and does not have a single point of dis destruction. Nobody can take even if even if the economy goes down, everything is encrypted with cryptography. I'm I'm sorry. Am I missing something or? Are most people just too brainwashed with today's consumerism and ex unrealistic expectations of technological advancement? Please, wake up people, realize what's happening, stop complaining, and please don't let me hear somebody else screaming scam just because they have a processing error. Do I scream every time that my car needs an oil change? Or my car breaks down and I pop a tire. Oh man, they should outlaw all of cars because they break down. Hold on. There's very, very little room for error with cryptocurrencies should you do the right thing. It's very simple. The code is there. The blockchain is there. It's immutable. How can you make a, how, how can you make a mistake? If you're not paying attention and you're not following directions, yes, you might have some difficulties. But if you do everything right and you understand what you're looking into and you understand what you're researching, you will not be complaining every five minutes because somebody is not holding your hand and giving you updates. It is still there. The blockchain is still there. Your wallet is still there. Please. Life is okay. Look at the price. Even though I tell people, do not, who cares about the price? Look at the value of the item that you're receiving. No, you cannot see cryptocurrency, but I can tell you every single desktop wallet has a hard drive that has the whole transaction history, which is where cryptocurrency becomes more physical. You need to understand that you don't, need, you don't need to feel something in your hand to believe in it. And if that is, uh, I mean, that, if that's the case, then that completely writes out religion. Or belief, not religion, forget about religion. Belief in something higher than a physical being, okay? I'm not trying to go too deep into this, my friends, but please think with your minds. Stop listening to the news <laughs> and um, 
yeah, realize that 365 days can be a very long time. And at the same time, it can fly by. Because 10 years ago, Bitcoin was the same price as Bitcoin, okay? So, at the end of the day, my friends, relax. It is okay. If something happens, make sure you have everything in place, all your ducks in a row. You have your private keys backed up. You're not messing around with online wallets unless then the, the newest uh, project is Bitcoin Zero, which is a fantastic way to continue having the same security of your wallet while accessing it online. If you've done the slightest research, centralized exchanges are not very trusted. Your information can be stolen, resold a billion times without your knowledge. Nobody reads the terms and conditions. It can be hacked. Your money could be stolen. Example, Mount Gox. So, please stop crying for things that you really, really, really do not want. Understand what cryptocurrency is, why cryptocurrency exists. If you don't, we can talk about this all day. I'll, I, I can make another video. But Bitcoin Guru does not make videos just to make videos and to, to waste your time. You want to know about the technology? Look at the channel. If you want to know about the news and its development, look at the channel. I've covered every single thing they've came out with. Why am I not covering it anymore? Because well, is, there's no new news. Everything is great. Everything is updated. Relax. Sit down and enjoy life. Continue being a being, not a doing. Enjoy the prices. Enjoy the calm before the storm. Do you understand what is happening globally? Man. My friends, please do not worry. Please. Uh, worry is one of the, the negative emotions. And I don't want anybody to experience that. So relax. Um... Here is the the news from a month ago, which is 30 days ago, my friends. It's okay. You can breathe again. <laughs> okay? The Bitcoin team still exists. The project still exists. So there's no need to go crazy, crazy. Okay? Okay? I was alive for the last... 60 days even though I didn't say anything in the last 60 days and I'm sure you were too so take it take it one day at a time again recognize what time in history you, you you're you're experiencing and let's take a quick look at the market BAM ranked number 72 out of 100 nine thousand dollars of daily volume if you want to see what bitcoin was not even a year ago bitcoin had an extra i think if i'm not mistaken do not quote me because number i work with numbers so numbers go through my head all the time i think it was in the hundreds of millions of volume in 24 hours so this is fabricated not in a way somebody made up the numbers but it is a absolute result of this of this all of this combined the reason why we only have 11 places where you can access it and again remember all of these numbers especially 
this one and this one is solely based off of the action on the market that is not showing you how many are actually owned this shows you my friends and this should be alarming to anybody who knows basic economics supply and demand we're looking at almost a hundred percent of the supply is gone We're going to have Bitcoin happening next year. But next year, Bitcoin will be completely mined. 184 billion. Please, please, please recognize. A lot of things are happening. And I think we, uh, most people need to have their attention readjusted. And their focus a little bit skewed. It's all a matter of what kind of lenses you're seeing the life and the world around you through. So this is my two cents. My friends, relax. Have fun. I do not even know how to pronounce this price. And I'm sure you know the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin. And if you're not putting the two and two together, we got some reading to do. My friends, have a wonderful one. There's nothing but love from Bitcoin Guru. I want you guys to be as powerful as possible. And so that's what I try to do. Share knowledge because knowledge is power. You guys are the best. Happy holidays. Enjoy life. And... Uh, Continue to pay attention to the world's first private and untraceable cryptocurrency. I'm certain they have a lot of things in, in store for us. Have a wonderful one. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.